Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at solving equations with variables on both sides of the equal sign. Please put that title at the top of the page that you'll be taking your notes on today. So our strategy will be to get all of our variable terms on one side of the equal sign while we get all of our constants on the other side of the equal sign. Just a reminder, the term constant refers to all of our regular numbers that don't have variables attached to them. Those are constants. All right, we're going to start right away with an example. Please copy example one into your notes. Okay, right now this is a multi-step equation Notice that we do have variables on both sides of our equal sign. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put my railroad tracks in so I can keep track of what side is what. I'm going to try to get all of my terms that have a variable, the t's, all to the left side. That means I need to get rid of negative 2t. Okay, the opposite of negative 2t is positive or plus 2t. So on the left side I will also do plus 2t. Notice I'm putting that directly underneath the 3t because those are like terms so they're the ones that will get combined. My negative 2t plus 2t are my inverse operations that cancel each other out. On the left when I combine the t's I get 5t plus 10 is equal to, and notice that I have 15 left over here, but notice that that 15 has a minus sign in front of it. That means that is going to be negative 15 left over on the right hand side. Okay, now you guys could really take it from here because I know you know how to solve this type of equation. We're going to get rid of that plus 10 by doing our inverse minus 10 on both sides. My inverse operations on the left cancel out, leaving me with just 5t. Now, over on the right, I have negative 15 minus 10. Negative 15 minus 10 really means add opposite, which means negative 15 plus negative 10. That's going to give me negative 25. Okay, I've got one more inverse operation. That's going to be divide by 5. I'll do that on both sides. My inverse operations cancel out, leaving me with t by itself. And negative 25 divided by 5 is negative 5. And there's our answer. All right, please copy down example 2. I'm going to let you guys pause the video at this time and try to complete example 2 on your own. When you're done, resume the video and I'll work it through with you and you can check if you're right. All right, so here I go. This time, I'm going to move all of my U terms to the right hand side of the equal sign. It really makes no difference which side of the equal sign you move them to, but I like to work with positive numbers. Since negative 7U is negative, my inverse operation would be add 7u to it. Same thing on the other side. My inverse guys are going to cancel each other out. And what I am left with is 5 equals 14u minus 2. All right, now I want to move all my constants to the other side. So they have to go to the left. That means I need to get rid of that minus 2. So his inverse is plus 2. When that happens on both sides, my minus 2 plus 2 are inverse and cancel each other out. And what I now have is 7 is equal to 14u. Okay, remember we still want to get our u by itself. So I'm going to divide by 14 on both sides. These inverse cancel out and I get u by itself. And 7 divided by 14 is equal to 1 half. Some of you may have written that as 
0 0.5, which is the same thing. Either way, we're done. Now, today, some of the problems we're going to work with will have the distributive property in them. So, quick reminder, if you see the distributive property within your problem, that distributive property must be completed before you combine any of your like terms. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please go ahead and write down example three. This one looks like a whopper, okay? I'm noticing that we're going to have to do the distributive property on both sides of the equal sign. So we better get started. On the left, I'm going to distribute the five into the parentheses. There are two terms in the parentheses, so we're going to multiply that five by two different things. Five times four x is going to give me 20 x minus 5 times 2, which gives me 10. The plus 9 is not in parentheses, so that will not be multiplied by the 5. Okay, on the other side of the equal sign, I'm going to distribute a 2 into both terms in the parentheses. 2 times 8x will give me 16x, and 2 times 7 gives me 14. Now, on the left-hand side, I'm going to combine like terms. Notice that both the negative 10 and the plus 9 are regular numbers without variables attached. Remember, those are called constants. Okay, those constants are alike, and so I will add them. Negative 10 plus 9 is going to give me negative 1. I still have the 20x. So what I have left on the left-hand side is 20x plus negative 1. On the right-hand side, 16x plus 14 are not alike, so they cannot be combined. So I'm just going to rewrite. Now my job is going to be to get all of my variable terms on one side and all of my constants on the other side of the equal sign. I'm going to get my variables on the left, so these 16x's on the right have got to go. So the opposite of 16x is negative 16x which means I'm subtracting 16x on both sides. These guys are inverse and they cancel out. On the left, 20x minus 16x gives me 4x plus negative 1 equals, and on the right-hand side, I have 14. Okay, I need to get rid of this plus negative 1, and the opposite of negative 1 is positive 1. So I'm going to add 1 on both sides. Okay, my inverse guys cancel out. I have left 4x equals 15. Looks like I have one more inverse operation to do. That's going to be divide both sides by 4. Here are my inverse and cancel out. x is equal to 3.75 or if you don't have a calculator and you're punching that into your calculator or I'm, and you're not punching it in you're doing it manually you might write your answer as a fraction that would turn out to be 3 and 3 fourths either one of these forms of the answer is just great alright guys we have one more example and after that last one this one should be a breeze all right, put in some railroad tracks and let's start distributing. I'm going to distribute here. 4 times 3h is 12h, plus 4 times 6, which is 24. On the right hand side, I'm going to distribute my 3 into the parentheses. 3 times 2h is 6h, minus 3 times 1 is 3, and then after the parentheses, I still have minus 3h. All right, let's take a look for like terms. There are no like terms on the left-hand side of the equal sign, so let's move over to the right. On the right, I see 6h minus 3h. 6h minus 3h is going to give me 3h. I still have minus 3 with that. 
on the left, I still have 12h plus 24. All right, now our job is going to be to get our variables on one side and our constants on the other side. I'm going to get my h's on the left. So I'm going to subtract 3h here. Same thing on the other side. Inverse guys, you know what to do. Cancel out. 12h minus 3h gives me 9h plus 24 equals negative 3. Don't forget that when these h's canceled out, the 3 h's, that minus sign that was in between them now changes its purpose and becomes a negative sign attached to that 3. All right, subtract 24 on both sides. All right, our inverse operations cancel out. And now we have 9h equals negative 27. Divide both sides by 9 so we can finish this bad boy up. Our solution is going to be h equals negative 3. All right, good luck today, everybody.